New Yorkers braced for the massive snowstorm city officials warned about since Thursday. Stay out of your cars and stay in your homes while the worst of the storm is on us. That's for your own protection during potentially hazardous outdoor conditions. Declaring a possible state of emergency for the city that usually is pretty hard to get to sleep. This young designer continued on to her and so many others' destination. No, I'm going to Fashion Week right now. Yeah, so, so far that I know, everything's still going on. Thanks to a stage-handed Metropolitan Opera House who'd been there for 20 years, we got the inside scoop. Well, at this time last year, more people was out, hanging out a little bit more, but I'm sure it didn't stop the nightlife. By the looks of things, you'll think it's quiet in the city, but the city's definitely still going on. A sudden burst of people filed out of a theater also in the center. It's safe to say it's going to take more than a blizzard to stop these New Yorkers from getting their daily dose of culture. Weather alerts reveal the storm will continue and last until mid-Saturday, but this opera lover informed us of his plans. And I'm actually going to the Alexander Wang Fashion Show tomorrow. They all, it's a very art-oriented city, and I think people from all walks of life you see going to, if it's not the opera, it's the symphony or the ballet or the museums or whatever, and people make it accessible. And for that reason, I think people want to support, want to come out even in conditions like this. If just like this, he means an icy concoction mixed with fuzzy, flurry snowballs falling at high speeds, well, it will take even more than a big blanket of fluffy white snow to put New Yorkers to sleep, especially during Fashion Week. El Backish, NTD News, New York.